You wouldn't use a sledgehammer to crack a nut. And the same rings true with EDM machines. And we'll explain why in this week's Dwarf and Chip. So before we begin, what is EDM? Well, EDM, electrical discharge machining, is a method of cutting a form with a spark. So what do you need? You need an electrode, a workpiece, and dielectric fluid. Dielectric fluid acts as a resistor between the electrode and the workpiece. Power is then applied, and when the distance between the workpiece and the electrode is correct, it forms a spark, just like when Brad Pitt and I first met. The workpiece then gets eroded and forms a shape. You'll then see the black smoke get extracted, and these are particles that the dielectric fluid will then pull away. Two great advantages are the fact that it's linear and not rotational, so you can get those complex geometries and square corners. And if it's mild steel or tough and tall steel, it doesn't matter because the programming is exactly the same. So now we're mini experts, let's get on with the show. So when we talk about EDM machining and value for money, which is the core message in today's program, we're going to split it into four areas. First of which is solving problems. The second is costs. The third, service spares and support. And finally, the fourth, control over the process. Let's start from the top. Let's talk about problem solving. The problems, they can vary from a very simple problem to a very technical situation where they haven't got a clue on what they want, want to do and now they're going to do it. So they can ring us up and they can say, right, I've got this particular job that requires this size hole to be put in through X amount of length and we can come up with a solution regarding what type of machine we'd recommend or whether we can get away with a lower cost machine using just normal conventional spark erosion. Trying to get to um, a definition on a part can sometimes entail having square corners. Admittedly, you can get a square corner on the face, but you can't get a square corner down the side when using CNC milling, for instance, ice speed milling. You always get a radius in the corner. Some small, some large. With the EDM machine, it doesn't really matter what size it is, but it needs to be square. So therefore, an EDM, conventional ramp type EDM or CNC would be able to take the corner out and leave you a nice sharp definition and blend it into a surface that's already been machined prior to that. Unmanned operation is based on wanting the part very, very quickly. So in order for the operator to do that, he can set the machine up the night before, set it up to run through the night, come back in the next morning and either change the electrode to do a finishing op or he can put another part in to carry on doing the operations that he was already started off doing during the day. With unattended EDMing, the solutions that Eurospark can give you are twofold. One, if you want lights out, you can use a wire EDM machine which can be run overnight 24 7 and the fire hazards are minimal on that because it is using deionized water. Within the control of the machine you can set the parameters up by the surface area and the machine will automatically give you the right power for that particular area and also the technology is automatic on the machine. However the technology is also adjustable by the operator should the definition of the part change as it's going down. Examples of this are on the Joe Mars AZ machines. The situation on the sparking conditions, I say, are monitored and will default to a back off zone if required. Also, the beauty of the machine is got a power stepping mode. So as you're going down, it can change up the power or change down the power according to the, the operator's needs and the shape of the electrode, which will obviously reduce time because the operator doesn't have to come back and change it manually. The beauty of the Jomars machines, the machines are very, very simple to use and very much cost effective. The small machine starts off around about 22K with a standard tilt swivel tooling supplied as standard on the machine. Or you can go up to a CNC version of the same size machine for around about 30K, which will give you a lot more options for a, a fraction of the price of a fully sophisticated CNC EDM machine. And the end product was exactly the same. 
So now let's talk about cost and how cost effective these machines actually are. Let's talk about the EDM drill pull. This is the first machine, the NSD 510 CNC, a full CNC EDM drill. As an example, one of their customers has purchased one of these within the medical industry. So if you're doing deep holes, very small diameters, they were doing uh, drilling holes through needles, so perfect for those applications, tool makers. But just as an example, something like this, around about a 500 millimeter stroke on here, you can do up to six millimeters in diameter on drills, but down to less than 0.3. Great for also starting uh, starter holes for the, then you move on to the wire machine. But this machine typically starts well under 30K, which is very, very affordable technology. Right, okay. Are you calling these entry level machines? Eurospark would class these machines as pretty, a lot, in a lot of instances, entry level. Here we have a manual Spark machine. Now there are a lot of applications or companies that buy Spark machines and they're fully CNC machines. They don't need them. You know, this has a DRO on it which can, you, can, you can get to the right position within the job, you can program the depth that you want to um, actually Spark to, and you can also, by using their very, very simple control system here, simply push a button to say your, you know, what, what materials you're cutting, what size your electrode is, how much power you want to use, and of course all of that will affect the accuracy surface finish. But with so EDM, forth. you're not actually pinching for seconds, are you? So going from a manual to a CNC. Exactly. Well, this manual machine here, you're around about, and I've just got to go on to my next bit of paper here, 22, you can throw the other one. <laughs> 22,000 pounds around about that starting price for that manual machine. But of course, if you do want CNC, if you want a control system here, if you've maybe got um, you know, a selection of parts that you want to continually run and the CNC is advantageous then, then they can offer you that technology as well. I mean, Joe Mars, between these two machines, and this one's much bigger, there is around about a thousand machines in the field. That just shows you how popular they are. And if you were to step up to something like this on the CNC side again, Again, to illustrate the affordability, you're talking around about £38,000, that's all. Wow, okay. Um, and you're not really overpaying for technology, are you? You're not having to pay for all the bells and whistles. The you big message, the big message in today's programme is, is the affordability, but what you get for it. And I mean, something like this, this is the AWT, this is a wire machine. Now, this has things like auto-threading of the wire, so if the wire breaks, it will re-thread itself. Um, you've, you can leave tags on parts when you're machining them, so you can leave it running overnight and come back and simply tap those components out. And um, This actually uses water, but it's got high pressure uh, flooding systems in here to enable you to get rid of, well, all, all the sort of uh, build up around the, the wire process. Uh, you can actually go up to, or from point, uh, point 0.1 up to point 0.3 wire on this machine. And again, with this CNC control here, they make it dead simple to use. Uh, put in the diameter, put in the material, whether you want it done fast or quickly, the thickness, uh, and it will, it will spit out the parameters in order to cut the part. Technology that is not only great, but also very affordable. And interestingly, wire is a consumable and they hold it here on site. And that leads us very nicely onto the next topic of the three S's. Well, thank you, uh, Lindsay. Um, we're talking about spares, service and support. Look, if you buy a product, you want to know you can get spares pretty quick, well, within 24 hours. And also, you want that full business support. Well, one of the beauties of Eurospark is that we can offer advice over the phone, which we call after-sales service, regarding any problems that the customer might have, whether it's the electro material he should use, the spark gaps he should use, the, the surface finish he requires and advise him over the phone and then sometimes that will lead into a, a, into a sale of a new machine because he feels that the, the way the technology is going he needs to have part of that without spending a lot of money. The other side of the service is that we carry a full service spare parts in-house that we can either diagnose the, the situation over the phone, help the customer over the phone and send in the part required if the seriousness of the problem is something that the customer doesn't want to do, then we've got the engineers to send out to fix the problem. And then there's point four, which is all about control. As a manufacturer, you'll want control over the logistics of your manufacturing and also the quality of the product that is produced. Now, by subcontracting that work out, you can't always be guaranteed that. Whereas if you have your own EDM solution, like we can see here from Eurospark, affordable technology will not only solve those problems, but also give you extra capacity to sell. The things that are best about the Jomars are the ease of control, whether it be CNC or manual machine, the build quality of the machine, 
reliability and after sale service. Thank you for watching the show today. We've certainly learned a lot and we hope you have too. The essence of today's show really was in the current climate, you will be looking at uh, the cost and we want to make sure that you know that you are getting best value for money. Maybe you subcontracted this work out prior to today and might be considering bringing it in house. There's four points that we've touched on. Uh, solving the problems. To me, EDM technology, what I've learned today about, you know, uh, drilling deep holes, very small diameter holes with EDM drills, using manual spark machines when you don't necessarily need CNC, being able to do those square edges, those difficult profiles in those harder materials. These are all operations that can't be done uh, as well on machining centres. The costs up to 20% less and some of the competition is what Eurospark are talking about here. Uh, maybe this is the time uh, when, you're, when you're looking at costs, why buy a machine that does things that you don't need it to do, buy one that does things that you do need it yeah, to do. Yeah, and with over 30 years of knowledge, these guys here have been working with these machines for a long time. They know them inside out, so you have got that support here in Leicester in the UK and we haven't even covered the fact that we've covered new but what about the pre-owned machines? Yeah I mean if you can't even stretch to a new machine you love the technology the job doesn't warrant it what a great thing to be able to come here to uh, their place in Leicestershire and not just look at the new but look at pre-owned machines here uh, some of which are actually older than Lindsay but younger than me. Hmm. Right, okay, thanks for that, Paul. Right, okay, thank you for watching the show. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And as we always say... Keep that wire cutting. Keep those spindles turning, but that one's more apt for this week. <laughs>